What is going on every single buddy? Cynical Slayer here, back with a brand new video for all my 9 subscribers and I'm on the road to 10, you know, grinding the videos so hopefully I'll get that very soon Anyways, I've made COD videos for about 6 months on this channel but today I decided to switch it up with one of my favourite franchises of all time which has a shit ton of flaws, just like Call of Duty you guessed it, it's NBA 2K now, let me go back I've been a fan of NBA 2K since I picked up NBA 2K13 back when Jay-Z did the soundtrack which was one of the best soundtracks in my opinion I don't care what any of you say and I picked it up due to the GOAT NBA 2K YouTuber the Godfather, Chris Smooth himself bro I used to love watching his COD commentaries until he stopped at around Black Ops 2 and to be honest I don't blame him he focused on NBA now but back then, he used to play the old NBAs, NBA 2K12, NBA 2K13, and I used to watch all his videos. And that led me to play the game, and then it led me also to enjoy the real sport itself. I played it, and I even joined the team and everything. You know, I was something of Jordan myself, you know. I was a GOAT, trust me. Back in the days, you just have to take my word for it. As all you 2K fans know, 2K20 is releasing on the September of the 6th. 2019 which is very very soon it's like two months away not even and I thought this would be a great time to tell you my wish list for this game basically I mean I may not get views but Ronnie will find it somehow I'll make him find it don't worry remember this is in no particular order so from one to five it could be interchangeable this is just the list I put up right anyway let's get into it so number one's gonna be adding park affiliations back you guys remember the good old days of NBA 2K15 to NBA 2K16 and 17 before the broken playground in 2K18 there was park affiliations Sunset Beach, Old Town, Flyers and of course the River City Rough Riders which I was part of and I represent proudly 2K bring them back please there was so much fun especially when Rival Day arrived and every park was competing and everyone would visit each other's parks to show off and show them what's up it's much better than having one park in the middle of a bunch of stores I mean don't get me wrong the playground isn't bad but they should find a way to you know combine the two I think that would be a great addition and it would satisfy everyone who liked the park and everyone who wants a park affiliations number two remove the dual archetypes now dual archetypes dual archetypes man what the hell happened whatever happened to inside outside and balanced that shit was fun as hell geez 2k it seems like every year you guys try to cater to esports and 2k league when the majority of your fan base just wants to hit the park and have fun with friends or fucking around we should not have to be constricted to one or two archetypes i want my player to be a lebron james or a kevin durant not just a sharpshooter like Kyle Korver. Bring the fun back 2K. Come on, scrap the dual, arch dual archetypes, please. Number three, scrap Road to 99. Ah, uh, Road to 99. Remember that boring, tedious, shitty system in 2K? Oh wait, it's still here. You do know majority of us have lives, right? We're not streamers or YouTubers who get paid to do this shit. And even then, the YouTubers and streamers most of them don't even hit to 99 or even 95 man I'm, I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is I don't want to spend my whole day grinding out my career just to reach one level higher like geez seriously I made one shot creating sharp grinding him for so long paid money on him for VC which I heavily regret and I only reached up to 92 like what the fuck 2k that's some cheese bro and people who do spend all the time playing always have these advantages always have advantages over us casual players please go back to 2k15 2k17 2k16 ways the easy grind the fun grind and as for the badges maybe the score for them should be turned down a bit what i'm trying to say is that you guys release the game yearly and before i know it there's another 2k coming out very soon and i don't get to explore the new 2k as a high overall you know, I don't get to feel like how it feels like to dominate the park as a high overall because I'm so busy grinding for the 99 that I don't even get there. You know what I'm saying? Number four, rep system 
bring it back the 2K15 to 2K16, 2K17 version. Bring that shit back. Have the same rep system and rewards as 2K15, 16, 17. The old rep system with the crowns was so much better than the ones we have in 2K19. Like we don't even get like benefits, we don't get rewards to having a decent win to loss ratio. So what the fuck's the point? It's all about bragging rights. Like, in my opinion, who the fuck cares if you're an Elite 3 or an Amateur 2? Bring back the OG rep system. It sounds like a RAM video more than a wish list, but this game, like, I love it, but it just you know, it frustrates me. Anyway, number five, affiliation boosts. Now, finally, this was an original idea that I found on Twitter, which basically struck to me. Affiliations boosts, man, that sounds like a unique concept straight up. So you guys remember 2K15, 16, 17, which I keep referring back to, and for good reason. Remember those parks where you choose either River City, uh, Old Town, and Sunset, where River City had the ability where when you dunk the screen would shake, and Old Town your dribbles would have some fire, some fire coming out of them or some shit. And when you shot in Sunset Beach, your shots had a fire streak coming out. Yeah, those are like all cool effects and shit, right? But what 2K should do in 2K20, if they add park affiliations, is to get the same idea, but use it to work as boosts for the players. Associate it with the park. For example, players who join River City should have boosts in their dunking attributes. Players who join the Sunset should have boosts in shooting, and Old Town should have boosts in dribbling and maybe passing. But 2K has to make sure they do this while finding a way to make it balanced and not too overpowered, which they, you know, probably won't do. Anyway, that has been my short wish list for NBA 2K20. Let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment. All that good shit. We're on the road to 10 subscribers and going strong in this YouTube game. And, you know, YouTube, it's not as easy as it looks, but whatever. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't really care. I'll just make videos, random videos. And if I get views, I get views. And if I don't, I don't. That's life. You know what I mean? Anyway, if this video ends up getting 50 to 100 views, I'll do a wish list for the My Team mode. And, geez, there's a lot of things I gotta say about that. So, it's been your boy, Cynical Slayer. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'm out. Peace. P.S. If I sound tired, it's because I am, and it's twenty. It's currently two forty a.m. and I'm recording this. So, yeah, bitch.